Welcome back to Granberry TV. I'm Drew Whitaker here sitting with the Sheriff for the Weekly Sheriff's Report. How are you today, sir? Doing good. How are you? Man, I'm, it's, been, it's definitely been a week. The girls won volleyball, so, you know, getting ready for that. Football's about to go into playoffs, too, you know, assuming they win this game Friday. Or, well, the rest at the end of the day today. Um, but other than that, you know, busy, busy. I'm sure you've had quite the busy week also. Yep, we've had a busy week. Uh, administratively, I've had a busy week as the sheriff, so um, it was a painful day yesterday. I had an audit by Homeland Security, but um, and that's still an ongoing thing, but got some news for you today. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's start it off. What do we have this week? Well, we had a K2 dealer that was arrested for selling drugs. That, on the 28th, around midnight, the Hood County Sheriff's Office Narcotics Unit mm -hmm. arrested Maria... Augustina Diaz, 33 years old, for selling approximately 39 grams of synthetic marijuana to undercover officers. Diaz was also in possession of under two ounces of synthetic marijuana and under two ounces of real marijuana. The arrest led to the recovery of 33 ounces of synthetic marijuana at a residence in Johnson County. Diaz was charged with manufacturing delivery of a controlled substance over four grams and under 400 grams, felony one, um, and possession of a controlled substance under two ounces, that's class B misdemeanor, possession of marijuana, class B misdemeanor, and, and she's still in, in jail. Um, this deal started out as a undercover operation here in the county, and um, they admitted to more drugs over at their home in Johnson County. And so we got the Johnson County narcotics guys involved, and uh, my narcotics guys worked basically all night through the night and into the next morning. And that's where they recovered this 33 ounces of synthetic marijuana over there. So it was a big bust for Hood and Johnson County. So it's great that everybody's working together. Mm -hmm. And it's good to get another dealer off the street. I mean, you just can't get away from selling to an undercover officer. You just can't do it. You got, yeah. I guess I gotta watch who they sell, sell to or something. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, they're... Because it always seems to be like selling. Every case you usually bring in here is like sold to an undercover officer. Well, you can't get away from that. No. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cut and dry. Part of their downfall is they use their own product sometimes. So, mm, okay. you know, the old TV commercials that talks about killing brain cells. Mm -hmm. well, so, they're not... <laughs> I don't know. They're not, they're not thinking as clearly as they probably should be. I, so I agree. Um, they don't check out their... Um, buyers very well sometimes and they just want money they just want money they just want money that's their downfall yep. greed well, Agreed. it always so, brings you down but when they sell to an undercover officer pretty cut know, and dry it's pretty cut and dry so yes sir the district attorney likes those cases and takes them every day so <laughs> he doesn't have a problem <laughs> at all so then we had a on the 29th around 3 p.m we had deputies went to the 5500 block of old granberry road to serve a felony warrant Tara Lee Merlo, 40 years old, lied to officers about her name. Deputies discovered the lie and arrested Merlo on the capious warrant for possession of a controlled substance under a gram state jail felony. And she didn't have a bond set on that. And Merlo also had a theft by check warrant, and that's a class B and bond set at $1,500 and was charged with fail to identify as a fugitive, and that's a class A misdemeanor and bond was set at $2,500 and um, she's still in jail. So this deal stemmed from uh, another incident that we were investigating a, uh, a case of uh, burglary thefts, mm -hmm. burglary of motor vehicles that have been going on out in the, um, that end of Old Granbury Road and um, out in, can't think of the subdivision, but in the area of the 5500 block out there. So we went out there to follow up on some stuff, recovered some stolen property, and, and they made an arrest here when she lied to them, and uh, they really knew who she was, so it didn't work out very well for her. Don't ever lie. Lying's bad. <laughs> so Lying's my, bad. My deputies and the investigators got a lot done that day. Yeah. What's our Crime Stoppers for this week? Well, Crime Stoppers, um, this is a, a pretty pricey one, so uh, Crime Stoppers needs information on a theft that occurred in the 2400 block of North Crescent Highway, identified as Sims Lumber. 
Unknown persons came onto the property without the owner's permission sometime between November 2nd and 3rd. Taken was a 2005 International Semi Truck, model 44, or 440, uh, white in color. The suspects attempted to steal two other trucks and took time to load the trailer with a load of rebar, but they weren't able to steal but one truck. The damage in the other truck, along with some of the equipment, the value of the truck was $100,000. Wow. Now, since this was printed up, we've recovered the vehicle. Oh, okay. so that's, well, that's a good. good. Thing. That's good. But we need any information anybody can get because uh, these guys done a whole lot of damage and we're trying to do a whole lot more and steal a lot more and mm. Unfortunately, they had quite a bit of time to do it. So, if anybody has any any information about this, please contact Crime Stoppers at 817-573-TIPS or go online um, to Hood County Crime Stoppers website, hoodcountycrimestoppers.com, to submit a tip online. Tick tap. I'm having problems talking. I know. About. Text tip to 129 plus your message to 274637. All tips remain anonymous. Upon arrest and indictment, you could receive up to a $1,000 cash reward. Well, I'm glad you got the vehicle back. I mean, $100,000 yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty big deal. So we mm -hmm. need any information, and we know somebody has information, or, and they, these people didn't work alone, so maybe one of the partners is mad at the other partner in crime, and. And they need turn some each money. Other, yeah. turn, turn each other. Turn each other. Turn each other. <laughs> or maybe work a deal. For <laughs> there you go. Turn each other. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in. I'm, I'm sure. Again, it's been a hectic week for both of us. So I hope your weekend goes really smooth. Well, you know. Hope so too. But, but thank you so much for coming, and we definitely appreciate it. Thanks for having me.